हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई एल वेरी गुड इन दिस बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम मैट्रिक सम इट्स एक्चुअली इजी मीडियम प्रॉब्लम इट सिंपली सीज दैट गुड विन एन क्रॉस एन इंटीजियर मैट्रिक्स एज यू कैन सी एन क्रॉस एन इंटीजियर मैट्रिक्स नाउ यू कैन डू द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वॉट इज द ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन इज चूज एनी एडजस्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एंड मल्टीप्लाई ईच ऑफ दम बाय माइनस वन विच मीन्स दैट आई लेट से चूज दीज टू I made them minus one, minus one. Okay, so this became minus one, this became plus one. Now choose these two. It became a my plus one, plus one. Okay, these two became plus one, plus one. Ultimately, my goal, maksat is to get the maximum summation of the final matrix. As you can see, the summation is four, which is the maximum possible summation which I could get. Now, as you saw this specific example, did you see again before even going to the next example? Did you see a small pattern here? that if in this case i gave you two negative numbers somehow you were able to convert both of them to positive forget about that in between you were also making one as negative and then again positive forget that but still you were able to make both these negative numbers as positive now my question is right now in this situation if you easily see that these were adjacent okay like are in these are kind of I will be able to make it because I have one common element. But what if I ask you if there would have been a minus one here, and let's say randomly minus one here, will you still be able to make it? Obviously yes. Why? I will firstly make this as a pair. Next, this as a pair. Next, this as a pair. You see, because I am always choosing adjacent. Even if I would have minus one, let's say here, still I would be able to make it. How? Like this. Then like like next like this. So I simply can easily see. that if i have two negative numbers anywhere in the entire matrix i can club them up and i can say okay I, i will make both of them positive i will make both of them positive thus in best case scenario if i have even count of negative numbers i can make all those negative numbers as positive my total final answer which is the maximum summation will be nothing but the summation or absolute summation of individual values of this entire matrix now now um, the question here is that uh, is it done okay no not really because if you see this specific example you will realize they, this is not satisfying a condition previously which we saw because i have odd number of odd number of negative numbers so only i can make even number of pairs and obviously the instinct goes greedily the even like the pairs which i'm going to make should be the one which are having the maximum value which are having the maximum value and when i say maximum maximum absolute value because these will these will become positive so these become positive but someone should remain who is remaining remaining is the one who is having the minimum value but now my question is are you actually sure the statement which you said someone should remain only that having the minimum value is it actually the case not really because right now you let minus 1 stay as is because obviously he cannot make pair with any one whatsoever but still if i give you example where you had a minus 3 what could you have done obviously you could have made a pair like this so that minus 3 will become plus 3 and someone which was positive could become a negative value does if i reiterate the final approach it will be nothing but taking the input matrix firstly getting the max possible summation or max possible answer what is that it is nothing but summation of all of these values in their absolute sense which means 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 is the actual maximum possible summation and also parallelly i will keep on counting the number of number of negative numbers if that is even this summation which i saw will be my answer if with this neg like count of negative count of negative numbers is odd then the value in this entire matrix having the minimum value again minimum absolute value that absolute value should be subtracted from this final sum but how many times is the question will you subtract only once no you have to subtract twice why because 
वन टाइम यू सब्ट्रैक्टेड बिकॉज दिस दिस समेशन वॉज टेक्निकली वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री अगेन आई एम टेकिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल दिस समेशन वॉज टेक्निकली वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री दिस वॉज माई समेशन now when i am saying that i got to know this is the minimum value so this should become negative which means the positive contribution here i took it should go away on top of it a negative contribution of the same thing should come up so from this summation technically you are removing this one twice thus you will simply remove it twice cool and that's the entire crux of this problem and the approach and the algorithm everything is this only cool let's see the code it's exactly very simple very straight forward uh, you simply went on to the entire each and every row each and, each and every cell you went on and you got to the total sum because this is your maximum expect maximum possible sum which could you which you, you could have you will get the negative count how many negative count how much negative count you have and also you are grabbing the minimum absolute value because this will help you if the count is odd uh, in that in that case uh, in that case in that case uh, you will simply mention that okay if the count is like your odd then simply from a total sum do a subtraction of 2 into minimum absolute value which you found above and that's your answer ultimately time is simply o of n into n because i have n into n matrix and space will nothing but o of 1 because you are using no extra space at all cool then that is your answer i hope you got it if yes smash like baby bye bye take care and yeah contest videos you can see it on channel bye bye take care.